Hi and hello everyone and welcome to a brand new series. As you can see, those of the initiated know that we are going to be playing Icewind Dale, the Enhanced Edition. And I am Berg787 and I'm going to be joined in this long, awesome adventure with my cool buddy multiplayer chums who we've done other series with. They are Torior and Grey Hunter. Say hello, chaps. Hello. Hello. Right, before we actually get started in the game, we're going to spend a couple of seconds just talking about who we are. We've each taken two characters, as you can see. Um, and we spared you the dice rolling. Uh, yeah, we spared the hours and hours of dice rolling to make sure our characters were as good as possible. Um, Give me my... something higher than 79, you bastard. Yeah, the amount of... Uh, Not that I'm bitter. Yeah, the amount of... Oh, crap, I just missed it. I just re-rolled when I hit a 90. Uh, that annoyed me. But uh, anyway, right, my two characters. I am Lord Berg, Thief Fighter. Is uh, obviously a fighter thief, rather. Not Thief Fighter, Fighter Thief. But anyway, he's a half-elf. <laughs> Pretty good. He's um, going to be more of a bit long rangey. He's got longbows, two, and I think daggers, two, which you can't see on his little inventory there, but we'll talk about that more once we're in the game. Uh, we are all good or neutral characters. Is that right? I think so. Yes. Uh, and my other character is Orc Shanks, who's a half orc uh, fighter cleric, which I kind of like the idea of. I kind of got that idea, stole it a little bit from Torio when we were doing this a couple of days ago. It's kind of like a shaman esque. That's kind of the angle I'm going at, yeah. sort of. But anyway, there we go. They're my guys. Um, I have two guys as well Tim the Dwarf, who is. I um, actually went both fight, half fighters as well as Berg did. Because, yeah, close combat and fighting is just fun in strategy games. And Tim is a dwarf, he's a cleric slash fighter, and he will be using dual warhammers, because why the hell not if you can do that, right? And he will be washing his beard in his enemy's blood. And Schmendrick the Magician is um, a little bit less aggressive, maybe. He's also um, half fighter and half mage this time. And he will be sort of a support mage mostly, buffing his party and debuffing the enemy. Also, um, charging into combat, because, yeah, close combat mages, that always works out fine, right? Yeah. And also, quite importantly, for those watching my stream, uh, he has Identify. Saves us loads of money. But, yeah, <laughs> good. Anyway. At 100 gold a pop for identifying stuff, Schmendrick is, like, the most vital part of the team, to be honest <laughs> with you. <laughs> if Schmendrick well, think... dies... Well, then we have to go all the way back to revive him because he's that key. Well, I was going to say, when you think it costs us like 100 gold a pop just to revive someone as well, like, you know, it's oh like doubly, doubly annoying if Schmendrick dies. But anyway. Okay, oh, good I, lord. Grey Hunter, and my you are? characters. Well, I am two females because you don't want it to be a sausage fest. It's an adventuring company. Come on, guys. Seriously. So I've got two characters as well. And the first one is Lady Grey. She's a ranger who took the archer subset. So her specialty is going to be longbows. So she got two points in that. And she'll also be going with scimitars because nobody else picked them and they seem kind of interesting, so why not? And Juno Aurelian is a pure fighter. I also didn't multi-class because I just don't like the way it works in Icewind Dale. So my two are pure fighter and ranger. Um, Juno Aurelian is a sort of a sword and board kind of girl. She's going to be using shields and long swords because, you know, why not? Why not indeed? Certain why not? Time. Also, when you said you don't want it to be a sausage fest, I do remember the fellowship was a sausage fest. So uh, It was, and that's why it failed. <laughs> that's probably why it did fail, actually. I'm just You're putting right. it out there. If they'd just had a woman it. along, if they just had one woman going, you don't want to go up that mountain far, Gandalf. True. All my Everything could have been avoided. See? Right true. there. Possibly. Uh, yeah. All they needed was Arwen along. Oh, Maybe not Arwen. Yeah, but then 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 old Aragorn would have been distracted constantly. Mm -hmm. Pining for her. But anyway, all right, so that's the intro there. Well, I think an old hobbit woman would be much more sensible. That fat that fat bint that Sam fancied, whatever her name was, Miss Sally or something like that. What was her <laughs> <Yeah>. name? <laughs> something like that. Anyway, enough enough. You tell, us, uh, we, you tell us. Yeah, you tell us. We've uh, that, That's our party. Now we get into the game, so uh, get ready for the prologue. Awkward silence. Still getting ready for the pro prologue? Yeah, it's, it's thinking about it. Should we do the <laughs> prologue? Our tale begins I'm hoping here, we do the prologue. in the there quiet fishing village of East Haven, 
one of the so-called ten towns of Icewind Dale. The tiny community is hardly a town, but rather a collection of ramshackle huts crowded together upon the icy shores of Lac Dinashir. Here, within a dimly lit tavern, a group of travelers sit huddled around a table, swapping tales and making grand plans for the future, completely unaware of the part they are to play in the events that are about to unfold. So in true D&D style, we met in a bar. <laughs> in true D&D style, we're just sitting around drinking. Yep. Obviously the way it's meant to go. Mm -hmm. Right. Some awesome loading times in this game. <laughs> <laughs> it's not our fault. It's really old. Yeah, it is. And it's not that still old. Awesome. It's Multiplayer. Old. Don't worry, this is just building up suspension. Yay. <laughs> suspension. Yeah, you suspense, you know what I mean. Yeah. What's this? New face in town, eh? Well met, stranger. The name is Rothgar, originally of Hillsfar. But now, after years of traveling up, down, and under Faerun, I am content to call this town my home. What? Who might you be? Well, greetings, Rothgar. My name's uh, Lord Berg, fighter thief. Well then, welcome to East Haven. Whatever your business in these parts might be, I would offer you this small piece of advice. While you're in my town, you'd do well to be on your best behavior. Oh, you did. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so sounds, sounds a little bit aggressive there, Hrothgar. What do you take us for, a band of brigands? Well, he's These folk the are under my protection, and anyone who would seek to do harm to them in any way shall answer to me. Yeah? All right, okay. That said, I'll let you get back to your cups. I'm sure you've had a long journey, and you'll find there's no better way to shake off the cold of the road than by downing a few mugs of Grisella's best. Nothing like frying out a few frets and then saying, yeah, have a drink. <laughs> and if you're in need of lodging, I would recommend talking to Quimby over at the Snowdrift Inn over on the east side of town. Oh, is Quimby uh, paying you to say that? Some sort of free advertisement? Equipment and supplies well, can be purchased next door at Pomab's Emporium. Uh, True. Pomab's prices are a bit high, even for a Kalashite. But yeah, you should be better off well-equipped and short of coin than the other way around. Ill-prepared travelers don't last long in these parts. Yeah, key word being shite. <laughs> Once you've had a chance to rest up and get your bearings, come by and see me at my house. It's just a couple doors west of here. There's some business I would discuss with you. Farewell. Why don't you discuss it now? All right, well, whatever. Farewell. Clearly, it's not for the ears of the plebs, Berg. Gosh. <laughs> also, your half-orc is ginger. Yeah? What, 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 what's your problem with what ginger? What of it? <laughs> yeah, what of it? Never seen a ginger half-orc. Wow, well, have you ever seen a half-orc? <laughs> Fair point. Today our party arrived in the snowy lakefront community known as East Haven. Should I read that? Is that what's happened? Yeah, you know, the journal entry. We are in half frozen from the road, we hastily made our way into the local tavern to find a hot meal and some friendly conversation. Scarcely had we sa seated ourselves at the table by the hearth, when we were approached by a burly warrior who called himself Hrothgar and made a bunch of threats against us. He seemed friendly enough, really, but sometimes his eyes, <laughs> something in his eyes warned us that he wasn't one to cross. He politely asked us to come see him at his home, a couple doors west of the tavern, to discuss business of some sort. See, basically, Hrothgar is kind of uber passive aggressive. It's kind of like, I... yeah, make yourself a home, but don't fuck around. You know, kind of <laughs> like, all right. Um, all right, before we do anything else, let's go and talk to this guy, Hildreth Highhammer, because he's someone who we might be It will to. be done. Cool. What uh, do you guys want to talk to? Hildreth, or I can talk to him. Where's my Schmendrick? Very well. Hello, I'm Schmendrick, the magician. Well met. Why, you, you seem to me like fresh new vein of ore, all untried and untested. I be Hildreth, should you wish to know. Vein of ore? What? Pirate? What? Do you, do you I am a person. What do you mean, vein of ore? Well, what I'm saying is, is that you look a little new to this adventuring thing. No, no offense attended. Uh, we all have to start somewhere. If you be looking for tips, uh, I have some news that might prove interesting to you. Um, okay. What, what do you have for us? I'm not all eyes and ears here. Mostly I've been keeping to my cups to keep the chill away. But I've heard that a local sword named Horfgar is putting together some sort of expedition. Sounds like it might be fun. I'll be going along myself. 
Oh, we, yeah, we met him. He threatened us. Uh, what do you know about the expedition? Well, the folks around here say that Hrothgar be a valiant man, but not the type to go dashing off to his death. They say he'd be an excellent leader. We're headed up to the mountains to investigate some sort of disturbances up there. You'd be best talking to Hrothgar himself to hear the full story. Well, mm, yeah, it... Uh, if you're going, then surely it is a worthy adventure. You seem like a seasoned adventurer, and it will surely benefit from your company. For now, farewell, my good sir. Well, he you basically told, told us what Hrothgar already told us. All right, let's go and talk to Grisella. She looks I'll preoccupied. Go. Yeah, she'll be all right. Lucas, you take that one. No, I don't want to. <laughs> Hello there, dearie. Welcome to the Winter's Cradle Tavern. My name's Grisella. I own and operate this fine establishment. What can I get for you, love? She sounds uh, like she's high. Yeah, well, she is high. She's been drinking all day. Uh, <laughs> I have some questions. No, actually, how about a drink? A drink? Well, of course, dearie. After all, this is a tavern, I think. Uh, plenty to drink here. <laughs> well, yeah, indeed. Yeah, yeah, well, um, you see, I'm in a bit of a bind right now. Um, I've just run out of everything. No, no, no booze, no, nothing. I have nothing to offer you in the way of drink at this moment, sorry. What, what, what kind of tavern are you running here? Well, the, the, the tavern hasn't run completely dry. I do have some stock down in the cellar, but... Um, uh, and, uh, but what? Um... Well, this is rather embarrassing, but I, I, I'm having somewhat of a pest problem down in the dirty old cellar, and I am afraid to go down there. Uh, you do see, I'm only a frail woman. Uh, I do so hate bugs. Uh, just the thought of these nasty creepies and crawly sends me shivers down my spine. A pink girl like you afraid of bugs? Come on, show a little backbone, Grisella. <laughs> big, big girl looks... <sighs> Impertinent stranger, look, uh, up here in East Haven, we may be out on the frontier, but we do manage to act civilized towards one another. If you can't at least try to be polite, then there's the door. Go. Oh, look, 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 look. My, my apologies, Grisella. I'm sorry. Is there anything we can do to help with your problem? Well, that's awfully sweet of you, dearie. Uh, I will uh, overlook that um, impoliteness from before, but I don't expect you to go to any trouble on my account. I'm sure I'll think of something on my own. No need to trouble yourself. Oh, have no fear, madam. I shall see that there's this pest to put down below you trouble you no further. Oh, my hero, wonderful. The stairs to the cellar are in the back room. Now go, you be careful down there. Um, dear and don't let any of those little buggers creep up, up here, please, all right? All right, no problems. Let's go and do that. Um, probably just quickly equip our stuff. Um, oh, our right. <laughs> don't want to go down there trying to punch them. Oh, one other thing. That could end poorly. Yeah, just one other thing I want to do quickly as well Very is well. shift our party. Uh, th this doesn't show up for you, does it? But I put my two guys as the top two guys on the bar at the side. Is it all? Is it just the same for you, though? Uh, it's it's uh, the same. I mean, no, it's not. It's individual. Okay, well that's fine. Are we ready to go in? I believe so. Yes. Well, you right, guys go to smite some your bugs. characters. Oh. Uh, well, we're down here now. Alright, let's explore our characters. The bugs won't... Oh shit, they are attacking us. Alright, let's just kill the bugs first. Ready. It will be done. Ready. Right, we, because we, we also have to export the characters just in case that something goes wrong. Well, if something goes wrong, we're not exactly getting masses of experience Taste at this stage. Mm -hmm. Eat that bug! Go on. Noodles of experience from the Okay. So uh, now it would be a good time to export them. Export, yeah, we're just going to export our characters. I'm just going to call them whatever. Just in case something happens. I was super efficient, and I've already done it. Ew. Let's go to work. Okay. Anything to drink here, no? No, there's nothing down here, unfortunately. No. Only the bugs. All right, so we've done this about it. We, we've cleared out Grisella's cellar of dirty bugs. Um, let me just we go and save her. We did save her, because she was quite against these bugs. Yeah. Come on, chappy, go and speak to her. <laughs> the orc is in the way. Yeah, the orc, don't worry, the orc doesn't like talking. Any luck getting rid of these nasty bugs, dearie? My customers are getting pretty thirsty. It's done. Those bugs won't be troubling you anymore, Grisella, don't worry. 
Oh, thank you, thank you. You're a live server. Just do me one more favor, please. Uh, keep this little bug problem between you and me. I don't want folks thinking Grizzella's place isn't clean. Yeah, uh, run along now. Uh, okay. Cheers. Thanks for the five gold. We'll be <laughs> sure to spend it wisely. What would you All right, let's leave this dump. Let's leave this bug-ridden dump and go and actually <laughs> do some adventuring. Hell yes. So we have done our first quest. Very well. Indeed. <laughs> Great success. We are truly adventurers. Uh, someone wants to come along. Yeah, there we go. All right. So we're all outside. Uh, should now, we... We have played a little bit ahead, dear viewer, uh, previously, so we know kind of where we're going on this mm, prologue. Just, just this area. Should we go and speak to Hrothgar first? Um, Probably. Maybe. Okay. His Hrothgar house is right here. Yeah, so let's go into his house first. Yeah, Whoever that is down there, is that you, Toro? That's me, yeah. I'm co I color coded myself as blue. So when 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 we've known you are such a pretty blue. Yeah. Yay. These are awesome loading times. <laughs> <laughs> they are pretty sweet. One day we will teleport into Hrothgar's house. One Maybe. Day. But you know what it's like, viewers. You know, at the beginning of these uh, RPGs, there's always a little bit of flapping around before you actually get onto the good stuff. So bear with us. I Just see. enjoy our awesome voice acting. Damn straight. <laughs> well met, friend, and welcome to my home. Make yourselves comfortable, but try not to break anything. Many of these curiosities that you see lying about have... sentimental value. Sentimental value? You don't strike me as the sentimental type, Hrothgar. Oh, they're all remembrances of my adventuring days. Little trinkets and the like that I picked up here and there. More keepsakes than valuables, really. Leftovers. From my days of fortune and glory. Fortune and glory, eh? Looks to me like you've had more in your share of glory, if not fortune. Oh, I've seen my share of fortune as well, rest assured. I've beheld more treasure than most kings, I'd wager. All right, no one likes a bragger. But it wasn't for <laughs> coins that I fought and bled all those years. It was for something grander, more powerful than mere riches. Adventuring is something that is in your blood, not in your purse. Should have chosen so coins. I so badly want to say that he's daft. But I'm not gonna. Um, well said. I too hear a similar call to adventure. Indeed. Well then, this might interest you. I'm putting together an expedition of sorts, one which would surely provide opportunities for both fortune and glory. This is the business I wish to speak to you about. Really? Tell me more about this expedition. We've received word from Kaldahar, our neighbors to the south, that evil forces are stirring nearby in the spine of the World Mountains. I am organizing and leading a party from East Haven south to Kaldahar Valley to investigate. You look to be capable enough. Perhaps you'd like to join us. What say you? All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. What, what, what sort of evil forces are we talking about here? I don't specific, really know. Man. The messenger yeah. wasn't too specific. <laughs> I suppose if you want How more convenient. details, you could ask <laughs> old Everard over at the temple. But time's a wasting. Who? Everard? Okay, I guess we'll go and speak to him in a minute. We need to get this expedition moving before the snows seal off the pass to Kaldahar. So what's it going to be? Are you in or out? Well, if there's treasure to be had, we're in. Am I right, boys? Yeah, money. See, I just want to be the one who says, no, nah, it sounds too dangerous, adventure over. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's that's, that's the game, everyone. That's the done, yeah. All right, well, if there's treasure to be had, I'm in. I don't know about these guys. Excellent. Yeah, right. Glad to have you on board. I plan to assemble the rest of the expedition and set out for Kaldahar within a few days. With storms brewing in the mountains, I'd rather we depart sooner. But there are matters that require my attention here about town. Uh, what sort of matters? You know, maybe we can help out, speed things up? Actually, now that I think about it, maybe you Get can paid. help. Yeah. <laughs> Poma, Possibly. the local shopkeeper, has recently expressed concern over the rapidly thinning stock of his store. Well, Pomab sounds like a moaner to me anyway, but anyway. He's been complaining that the regular caravan from Kaer Dineval is long overdue. And that if they don't arrive soon, he's sure to be out of business. Now, normally I take Pomhop's whining with a grain of salt, but with heavy snows on the way, it would be best to make sure that caravan makes it through. All right, so, so what, what do you want from us? I want you to find that caravan. Leave town by way of the South Bridge and scout the hills west of Loch Dinnershire, between East Haven and Caer Dineval. Caravans always stick close to the shoreline this time of year. Once you find it, see the caravan safely to East Haven. In the meantime, I'll assemble the rest of the expedition and make the final plans for our journey. Okay, so what you're saying is, you chumps go out and risk your neck. I'll stay here where it's safe. 
Good. Return here as quickly as you can. We must make for Calderhart Pass while the weather is favourable. Good luck. Safe journey. All right, layers. <laughs> so we should probably watch out for this guy. He has an illithid head on his wall. He has a what? Illithid, oh, you know, the mind yes, flayer. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The, mm, indeed. Hrothgar He's collected lovely, his yeah. fair share of trophies. Yeah. Alright, I'll we'll steal done. whatever Hrothgar has. <laughs> <laughs> and hope he doesn't catch you. He ain't gonna catch me. I'm Lord, yeah. Alright, that's that stupid note that says don't steal from me, isn't it? So we don't want that. I would say so. But you should show it so that people I will can show see it, it because it is quite funny. Yeah, okay. Well, basically, if you try and steal from Hrothgar, this happens. We take this note, and, uh... If you're reading this note, then obviously you are a thief come to rob me of my hard-won riches. Sorry to disappoint you. Did you really think I'd keep my valuables in such an obvious and unguarded place? Consider this note a warning. I do not care much for those who would poke their noses where it doesn't belong, and anyone caught practicing thievery in the town of East Haven should ouse to me. Signed, Hrothgar. All right, cheers, Hrothgar. Lord Marshal of Jerkwads. Yeah, basically, I'm going to leave that on the ground. Now, uh, a bow. What kind of bow is this? It is a short bow. No one went with short bows, right? Uh, no. Okay, but there is some arrows here, so I will keep these arrows for myself for the time being. I know you, you need some. I'm keeping the bow. I'm keeping the bow. I'm not just leaving it. We'll sell it. Yeah, of course. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> We're true adventurers. We sell shit. <laughs> it's all about looting. All right, let's, let's get the hell out of Hrothgar's. Stinks in here. Stinks of old man. What's that carpet there? Can you see it? Look, that big... Rug thing uh, next to the fireplace. Looks like... Uh, I can't recognize like it. something with an incredibly big penis. That's a tail. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you just ruined everything. Yeah, we'll so <laughs> disappointed, yeah. Alright, are we just gonna basically... Wait, there was nothing in any of these houses, right? When we checked. Um, there was a very valuable wolf pelt. Yeah, yeah that but was down uh, that was down there, I remember it. Um, I think there was a spear in this one. Because, uh, viewers, we did run around this first area already. Alright, you go in there. I tell you what, we'll, we'll meet you in the priest in the church over here. And just go and speak to them first as well. Where are you going, Lucas? Anytime. I'm going for a wander. Alright, well, I remember we those valuables down here. Um, the pelt was uh, down further, I think. Okay, so should we just get all the pelts? Should we get all this, all this stuff first before we go and speak to the priest? Yeah, I think so. All right. Why not? Do we want to do that on here? screen or off screen? So people don't have well, to watch us wandering around. No, that's fine. We'll do it on screen. But because we, we, we're all watching fail. different things. So some of you can, like, you know, Any if someone's time. watching your feed, then they're watching you go and get stuff. Where if they're watching my feed, they're watching me stand next to uh, this chappy over here. What's his name? Aspel. Because Aspel's going to give us a little quest in a second. Should we wait, actually, before we yeah. go and do Should we wait until we go and do with what Aspel needs us to do? We probably Any should, time. yes. Yeah. All right. I found that's a good lady. Yeah, have you found the blue lady? I did. I'm going to talk to her. Okay. Hello. So she doesn't actually have any dialogue, but this woman has the, has the skin like the surface of the lake, light green hair, and delicate features like that of an elf. At your approach, she begins to sing a soft, glowing song, like the sound of a great undersea current. But you have no idea why this song reminds you of that. In a moment, the song and the feeling passes, and the woman looks at you hopefully. Like, I, actually, I've voice acted both, haven't I? So, <laughs> <laughs> but I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Don't worry. You, yeah, you, you could be judo. Oh, I'm well, gonna I go mean... with option one. Okay. Who, who in the hells are you? What are you doing here? The woman looks pained, but she does not respond. Well, well I suppose. Sure. Number two, it seems. Well, talk, eh? Some steel will teach you to speak, are you sure? <laughs> Damn straight. <laughs> what, what, what? Some steel will teach you to speak up when the betters address you. She looks startled and suddenly vanishes, her body streaming away to water. All right, okay. And yet, she's, she's still standing there. Oh, no, there she goes. She disappears. All right. Ah. Such a pity. I am neat. I shall be swift about it. All right, no problem. Did you get the wolf pelt? Did someone pick up the wolf I pelt? I did. I did get it. So we've got all of that. All right. Yeah. Now let's go and speak to the priest, then go to mm -hmm. Poabs. Also, it's we'll... um, about time we wrap this up, probably. Okay. You want to end the first episode here, then? All right, what we'll do is probably we will... We will. Uh, this is going to be the end of this first episode, then. It's just a little introduction, obviously, getting, getting us off on the right foot. 
uh, you know, showing our characters and stuff like that. What we'll do is we'll do a little bit of the running and fetching off camera so that the next time you see us for episode two, we're in a bit more of a better position to go and smite some stuff, okay? Mm, so, just uh, do some so shopping we'll, as well. Yeah, we'll do some shopping and stuff like that. You don't need to watch a shop. Um, so, yeah, we'll try, we'll try and keep these bits better so that once we're in the actual action fighting part, which you're all going to want to watch, uh, you know, that won't be too far away. But anyway, as it's a new series, thank you very much for watching. Please hit those like buttons, show support, leave your comments, suggestions, all that kind of jazz for whoever's point of view you're watching because we always love interacting with viewers and we really do appreciate all your feedback. And until next time, or until tomorrow, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye.